everybody. After five and a half years of this YouTube channel, I've finally been able to upgrade my camera setup. I just got my tax refund, so I went out on a little spinning spree and finally got a setup I'm really going to enjoy. And I hope you will too. Okay, first let's talk about the camera. The camera I bought is a Canon Vivia HF R40. I'm not a you know a big camera expert, but I did read a lot of reviews, watched a lot of videos, and this camera for the price does really really well. Um, it's got a lot of features on it, but the biggest feature and the reason why I got this pretty much over any other camera is this is one of the few consumer level cameras that doesn't cost an arm and a leg, but still has a microphone input, which was probably one of the most important things I could get on a camcorder. So there's really nothing anywhere close to this price range that has that microphone input. The video quality is really good for the price and it's got a lot of really cool features. Now this really wasn't the camera I wanted. I wanted the model below this which is the HF400 but despite the website saying my Best Buy had one, they didn't. Um, so this is the upgraded model. The, H, uh, the difference between this one and the one I wanted was this one has Wi-Fi built in and 8 gigs of internal memory. Whereas the one I wanted didn't have the Wi-Fi, didn't have any internal memory, and was $50 less. So I spent $50 more on this camera than I was planning. But it turns out the Wi-Fi is really cool because I can control the camera with my phone remotely over the Wi-Fi, which is really freaking awesome, actually. Um, and then I bought a 32 gig um, SD card for it. Uh, but yeah, this is a really nice camera. There's a lot of really good reviews I took off the, the uh, strap here for a reason. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, there's lots of reviews of this camera on, on uh, uh, YouTube, and it cost me $250 for this camera. I was really expecting to spend $200, but I ended up spending $250 for the upgraded model. Um, I don't think the features are quite worth the $50, uh, but having the uh, video set to the SD card and the pictures set to the internal memory kind of keeps it organized a little better. So, yeah, that's that's the camera I bought. But of course this wasn't good enough. I mean it does have stereo mics on it. It doesn't have a light and the microphones are just okay. In fact my last video of the Excelsior unboxing was taken with this camera instead of the Microsoft Life Cam that I've been using for several years now. So of course this by itself wasn't good enough. I also bought a new tripod. Uh, it was one of, the, one of the most highly rated ones at Best Buy that didn't cost an arm and a leg. These are all, it's all really cost to reviews here. So I needed some accessories to go with this because the camera by itself is not good enough. So first thing I needed was a light, obviously, because this one doesn't have a light on it. And I got this newer CN 160. This is a 160 LED mount light. It is incredibly bright. Runs off six AA batteries or certain Sony or Panasonic um, nickel or nickel metal hydride batteries. And the intensity of this thing is just crazy. I don't really want to turn it on, but it does have a dimmer switch, and it gets really, really bright. It can literally light up the entire the entire apartment by itself. Uh, has an incredible throw to it, and it's just a really amazing light. Again, has just a, literally like a ton of really good reviews, and it was twenty eight dollars. I, oh, I should have bought two. It is a shoe mount. It also has a tripod mount, so I could use my second tripod for just the light if I wanted to. So it comes with a couple filters. It comes with a diffusion filter, a tungsten filter, and a, and a pink negative green filter. Um, so the experts say the filters aren't that great, but um, I'm going to probably use a diffusion filter a lot. I also wanted a decent microphone for which I got the mic input in the first place. And again, I didn't really want to spend two hundred dollars on a on a, like a road mic or something like that so again going to the reviews i ended up with a taxar sgc 598 which again just has an outstanding uh, review uh, rating on amazon on youtube lots of videos on it it's a 30 dollar mic and so the reviews on it are just outstanding it's got a lot of really cool features of course it got a 10 db boost got a uh, base cut out to try and reduce background noise and the mic itself is mounted on a shock mount on rubber on rubber to eliminate the noises you get from the camera 
I don't know if you've seen other people's videos um, where they're taking the cameras, you kind of hear this background whirring noise while they're taking the videos. And that's from the internals of the camera um, while they're recording. And this mic, using this, should eliminate that as well. Of course, I'm going to need something to put it all together. So I got a nice heavy duty bracket with two shoe mounts for like $7. Um, and this also, in addition to mounting the camera here, also mounts to the tripod itself. So, uh, let's put this all together. Okay, so it kind of doesn't fit in the frame, but here is the final setup. I guess I could put the uh, mounting pad for the uh, tripod right down here too, which I'll probably do in a minute. And so this is my camera setup. It's nice and portable. It doesn't weigh a whole lot. You know, most of the weight is, is actually the, the batteries and the light and the bracket. The camera, of course, doesn't weigh much. Either there's a microphone. And uh, so I can, you know, do video battle reports like this or set it on my tripod to do uh, uh, other videos. So this is still taking, so this video here is still being taken with my Microsoft Live Cam. Uh, it's a 720p camera. I'm recording the full 720p. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the tripod and take some other videos. So. Be right back. Okay, so here we are recording with the new camera setup. Uh, I have the only light on me is the uh, newer light. Uh, there's really nothing else on here in that new apartment right now. And it's kind of bright. I think I actually have it a little too bright right now. The um, camera is being controlled through my uh, smartphone here, which is a Samsung Galaxy Victory. One of my, I love this thing. Anyway, uh, so I can stop the recording, start the recording use the zoom and even record straight to the phone in a low res you know, standard definition but straight to the phone without even have to use uh, the, the camera memory at all so we should be able to have a good sample of what the uh, mic sounds like and just what kind of quality of videos you're going to be seeing from me in the future true i've only played one game of 40k in the last two and a half months because of my wonky work schedule but i've been playing a lot of star trek attack mic I'm hoping to get in some 40k games here in the very near future because uh, especially with escalations I really want to get my stomp on the board. Uh, so that's the kind of things we're going to be doing. I'm going to be working on uh, a few more bikes for a commission. I'm going to do some storm boys in the next couple days and I still have to finish priming my hangar but I got the uh, truck and the buggy primed uh, for uh, and they're on the short list to get on the painting bench. So that's where we're at. Uh, I really hope that uh, you, lo you look forward to the video quality and the more videos coming out as much as I'm looking forward to it. So, talk to you guys later. Stop the recording right here on my phone.